testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Um, if you didn't notice, uh, I'm wearing my Pueblo Mexican boxing gear, uh, and there's a reason for that, and we're going to get into that. But first, like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, twice a day, every day, just 8 to 10 minutes a day, uh, two shows a day, just to keep you totally up to date on the world of boxing, keep you filled in with all the news and rumors. Um, today's... Well, this show, we'll be back with, with, with another one later tonight. The first show of the day is going to be about the big news. Uh, Andy, the Destroyer Ruiz, and Chris Ariola, the Nightmare, uh, is done. It's signed, sealed, and delivered for April 24th in San Antonio. Uh, this is, sounds like it's going to be an all-Mexican card. Brandon Figueroa, I'm sorry, Omar Figueroa looks like he's going to be fighting on the card uh, with Abel Ramos. Um, it looks like uh, Omar Figueroa. And Omar Juarez will also be in the car. Omar Juarez, uh, undefeated prospect, who we talked about briefly on yesterday's show, and looks to also be on the card. So it's going to be a pretty good card. Um, I have a lot of thoughts on the card. Uh, look, the fight itself, I really have no problem with. Um, Chris Ariola is a good comeback fight for... Um, Ruiz. Ruiz hasn't fought since the, the the loss to AJ, where he was fat and out of shape. Um, he gave an effort in the ring. He just didn't give an effort in preparing for the fight. Now, I think um, if Andy Ruiz is fit, motivated, and shape and ready to go, I think he more resembles the Andy Ruiz that knocked out AJ, not the one that AJ outpointed. Um, I, I think, you know, if, if you say of all the recent heavyweight champs, uh, I think Ruiz is probably the second best. I think it's Fury's the best heavyweight champ. Um, and then who, who's the next best heavyweight in my, in my estimation, it's probably Ruiz and then Joshua and then Wilder. I know we, have, we'll get to Usyk. Um, Oh, sorry about that. Uh, but, I, you know, if you say th those four, the last four guys to hold heavyweight titles, I, I, I think Ruiz, one in shape, is the second best guy. Uh, he's quick. He throws real good combinations. He moves his head. He's, but he, he's skilled. I, I know he's fat, but he's got a good engine. Um, he throws a lot of punches. He's obviously got a good snap. He's really quick. He can work on the inside. He's a good heavyweight. He's a good boxer, and he's good on the inside. He can fight in, in the mid-range and, and, and on the inside. He's a pressure fighter, but he can, he can also box with you um, in the mid-range. Ariola is fine. You know, Ariola hasn't fought since um, the uh, competitive loss to uh, Adam Kwanaki which was a fine fight. Um, that was back in August of 2019. He hasn't won in um, two years. The last time he won was in the Cowboy Stadium fight, the Errol Spence, Mike Garcia fight, where he uh, fought a guy named John uh, Pierre Augustine, I believe his name was. Um, I don't know what to make of that. Look, Ariel is a fine kind of opponent. I, like he'll, he'll, he'll offer some resistance. Uh, Ruiz should basically beat him down, you know, over time. I think Ruiz stops him late. I'll say Ruiz officially eighth round knockout. Um, but it's a fine step back fight, right? Like I, I think Ariola is going to be forty when this fight happens, um, which isn't great for Ariola, but he's going to be game, right? He's going to give a, a valid effort. He's going to get beaten, and it's fine. Here's my problem with the fight. This is on pay per view, guys. They're going to ask you for 70 bucks. Now, the card is good. The card in its entirety is good the way they're shaping it up. It looks like it's going to be an all-Mexican card, right? All-Mexican fighters. You're going to have Omar Warriors. You're going to have Omar Figueroa, Abel Ramos. Hopefully, you get Jesus Ramos on the card, too, who I think the world of. Like, you're going to get a good card. Um, But 75 bucks for a top five heavyweight and a top 25 heavyweight, top 20 
isn't really worth 75 bucks. I, I don't know who they're going to get for this fight. I, I don't know who they think is going to pay money for this fight. Um, but I don't see it doing a huge number. I don't, and this is not a, a usually popular fight, in, in my opinion. I, I think it does okay. I think it, it does well with a Mexican demographic. I think it draws better in San Antonio than it. it, it I think it, 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 it's well attended in San Antonio. I, I don't think the pay per view number is going to be big. I, I don't think the pay per view number comes in over 125,000. 100 to 125 is kind of where I put this. Um, I, I mean, I think it's kind of outrageous that, you know, neither guy has fought in like two years. Right, year and a half for Ruiz. Year and a half for neither guy's fought since twenty nineteen. This is gonna be this, you know, the second quarter of twenty twenty one. And you try to be seventy five bucks for what amounts to a tune up fight for Andy Ruiz. And I don't think Ariola's a bad tune up, but it's a tune up for a guy who's never fought in a pay per view before, right? Like Ruiz has never fought in a pay per view, and he's the headline. And Ariola is the tune up. So you got a guy who's not a pay per view star taking a tune up in a pay per view fight. This doesn't make any sense at all. But it is what it is. It's not a terrible fight. I think it'll be competitive for a while. I think Ruiz will basically, over time, start to break him down, outclass him, and stop him late. So it's not a terrible fight. They're, they're shaping up the card. It should be an entertaining card. I, I just don't know how many people you're gonna get to pay seventy five bucks for this. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is a pay per view worthy attraction? I mean, would you pay seventy five bucks for it as as the casual kind of boxing fan? Uh, would you rather pay for this or the Clarissa Shields fight, which is tomorrow, uh, Friday? What, what, what is that? Tuesday? I think it's on Friday. I mean, what would you rather pay for? I mean, this doesn't seem like a paper. It's not a bad card or a bad fight. It's just not a pay-per-view worthy, right? There's plenty of good fights. It was a good fight on it with Anthony Durrell and uh, uh, Davis the other day, right? Like, it's not pay-per-view cards. It's, you know, there's lots of good ca- cards on it or pay-per-view. Like, um, J.C. Ramirez and Taylor just got signed, which we're going to do the second show on. That's not a pay-per-view fight. All right? These just aren't pay-per-view fights. And those are better fights than this. You know what? Chris Ariola has lost all of his big fights. Andrew Ruiz, I think, is excellent, but this is a tune-up fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Is this a tune-up fight for you? Is this not a pay-per-view? Do you think this is not going to do well uh, as, a, as a pay-per-view sale? Although I think it draws well. Um Leave your thoughts, comments below, like, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, it is March 2nd, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get that change. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the Hall of Fame class of 2021 from Texas. Oh, and a happy Texas Independence Day to y'all. Uh, it is Texas Independence Day, so... Um, for another few more hours, we'll be back in a little bit. With uh, we're gonna break down Ramirez and uh, Taylor, get into that. Uh, but let me know. You, um, happy Texas Independence Day, y'all! Make Texas a country again. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.